that you know what we got we got so many different testimonies from from okay. so many friends of Freddie Fender and how he touched their lives yes. they all have stories we all have stories of Freddie yes. and how how he touched our lives and what a difference he made oh, man. A yeah. and Max you, you ten years with him ten years on the road with uh, Freddie and of course the Texas tornado but uh, yeah, he was a, a very special person and there'll never be another voice like Freddie Fender. Man. So Max, tell us about the tribute album. Okay. Who's gonna be on it? I know that mm -hmm. you, of course, are uh, yes. uh, Rancho Grande, and yes, what and else? And there's a, uh, uh, I think, there's uh, various uh, yes. Austin, Texas artists by Mr. Mr. Will Owen Gage from San Antonio, the special guest. We got Mr. Ruben Ramos and Rick Trevino from Austin. Produced by, uh, yeah, produced Randy, by Caballero. Randy Caballero. Nice. Yeah. Those are some big names, brother, that yes. you guys are dropping there. I mean, that's, and, and, and it takes that kind of effort to be able to celebrate a man who's, who's, who's left us with so much, so much good memory. Yes, right absolutely, absolutely. His songs, man, it, uh, I remember uh, when we were playing with the Texas Tornadoes in front of thousands of people, Freddie would start singing uh, Before the Next Teardrop Falls, at, or Waste of Days, Waste. and the minute he's, this is the first notes came out of his mouth, the, the crowd would go crazy, man, you know, just amazing. It's amazing. It's yeah. just honorable to, to have the spirit and the energy that uh, Mr. Freddie Fender, Bartolomé Huerta, left behind for all of us that are paved, that he paved the road for most of us Chicanos playing exactly. American music, and that's, yeah. that's just, an, it's honorable in itself. He broke that barrier to do bilingualism before that was even a thing. Yeah. I mean, that was incredible. And in those days, when, he was, when Freddie was starting off, it was tough back then, you know, because yeah. it was, you know, for a Chicano to get, you know, to get up there in the, in the American market, you know, mm -hmm. it was really hard, you know. Let's talk about that. How did he feel? I'm sure that he shared with you. How did he feel him having to change his name to Freddie Fender? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, to another to, to fit into society, you know, the, the, the old days, you know, you had to have some some gimmick or something, you know, so he changed it to Freddie Fender. There was a lot of Chicano artists that actually changed their names, you know, Little Joe, mm -hmm. you know, fr uh, and uh, from the Latin ears to La Familia, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, different uh, artists, but Freddie, yeah, he, uh, he told me that, uh, uh, that he, he had to change his name, you know, to, to, to fit into Nashville, to fit into the, to the American market. You know? Sure. So they came up with Fender. So and, came up. and yet there's a lesson here to be learned today as we try to continue to promote our music. We, we do our job, you do your job, you do your job to promote nuestra música, nuestra cultura. It's out there, success is out there, and it's waiting for the quality, for the, the quality of the production, the quality of the artist, and the talent. We have the talent, don't uh, we? Yes, I think, I think it speaks for itself, the music, you know, and if, as long as the music, because it's about the music, and as long as the music is good, you know, it, it's gonna touch, and it's gonna reach, to, reach out to people that are gonna feel it, you know, and so. And I, th I think the lesson learned is, stay true to who you are as, not just um, Chicanos or Mexican Americans or whoever you are, but just stay true to humanity and loving what you love and just staying positive in everything you do because in the outcome, you know, who knows, you could be the next Freddie Fender. There you go, exactly. Right. And I know I can tell you one thing, that Freddie Fender was in no way mediocre. He believed in being first class, being at the top, and staying there, and he worked hard to do that. He was himself, like like Josh said, he was himself, and that's you know he'd he'd get to the gig and he'd be eating a taco, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And so, yeah. He he did go, you know. We do know him as Freddie Fender, but when he won his Grammy, he accepted his Grammy under his true name, Valdemar Huerta, yeah. and the, the the Grammy is under his name. Exactly. And you know right. the Grammy that. the Grammy that he won was. This guy right back here. Well, we want to know who everybody yeah, is. Yeah. So let's get everybody introduced. <laughs> okay, this guy, okay, this guy. Who yes, are please. Uh, let's uh, do it. Guitar player, uh, Mr. Joe Reyes. Hello. Of course, uh, Joe. San Antonio. And he actually played all the guitar work on that album that won the Grammy. So That's awesome. Nice. Congratulations. And our drummer is uh, Chris Rivera. Hi, Chris. And, uh, of course, our Meco Padre here on the bass. The one and only Mr. Noel Hernandez. From Noel. From La Villa. That's of right. Of course, from the That's valley, right. brother, right? Yeah, <laughs> over on this side. And this is my nephew on accordion, Josh Baca. Josh, good to have you here as family. Thank, yes. you. Thank you so much. And of course, Thanks for the having middle us. No, it's an Thanks. honor to Thank have you, you here. Of You've got one song that you're going to perform. Which is this one? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a, uh, a pantalon blue jean. It uh, was recorded back in the 70s with uh, El Maestro, Flaco Jimenez. Very cool. So we did a remake of it. Yeah. El pantalon 